Why hello tube. Um, 2023 reading goals. Now I gotta start off with a disclaimer. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have uh, between school, work, life. Um, I almost just really kind of thought about not doing this sort of video and just having these goals in the back of my head. And if I get them, I get them. And if I don't, I don't. Um, however, this is like one of my favorite videos to watch out there on the book tubes. Super windy outside. If it sounds like my house is about ready to blow down, it probably is. It is crazy windy. Um, but I'm not, I'll do it if I if I accomplish these goals. Awesome. If I don't, then I just don't. I mean, what's it gonna what's it gonna hurt? It's not something I have to kill myself over. However, it, it'll be a fun little challenge to keep things interesting. I am terrible with TBRs and sticking to TBRs. I'm terrible with goals and sticking to goals. So we'll see. Maybe I accomplish these. Maybe I don't. But uh, what are you gonna do? Um, my goals this year, which <laughs> I started off the year without any goals. I got rid of Goodreads. That was a huge thing. Um, I got so sick and tired. Try, focus, uh, uh, basically choosing what I read to try to beat my previous year's statistics and stuff. And it just got to the point where I'm like, this is no fun. So I got rid of Goodreads uh, this year. Been kind of doing whatever I want. Uh, I did end up with a couple goals of reading more Zen books. I want to read all the Shobo Genzo. I read half a Shobo Genzo and I lost interest just because it it's really dense um it's not exciting reading um so I kind of lost interest in that I'll get back to it eventually um the other goal I had was I, I want to make it the year of like German lit I did it for a while I was reading like one German book uh a month for a good chunk of the year kind of died off around Garb August it's about half the year. <laughs> so like six books, um, which is pretty pathetic because there's just so much good German lit out there. But honestly, Thomas Mann kind of kind of killed me on that, which I shouldn't have let it. I should have just moved on and not worried about it. But um, it is what it is, and it's too late to now and almost December to worry about it. So, 2023, what I want to do, um, I'm going to contradict myself here for a minute. I want to read deeper, not so much wider. Uh, meaning, I want to finish all of Plato's stuff, his major stuff, his basically anything that's an Oxford World Classic. That's what I'm going to do. I'll probably replace that Hackett with even another... Um, those Oxfords just because there's one that's going to overlap and it's going to bug me. So I might as well just go all Oxfords so that way I don't have any overlap on my shelf. I'd rather spend the extra $15 and not have the overlap because that is how precious um, space is. I apologize. I'm going to be drinking a lot in this just because I have like a head cold going on and I am so dry. My throat is very scratchy, if you haven't noticed. Junji Ito, I want to read all the Junji Ito that I can get my hands on. Basically anything that's still in print, easily obtainable. I'm not going to spend $7,000 on some obscure magazine he was in 20 years ago or anything like that. Basically, <coughs> his main canon that is easily accessible in English, um, all of those. And then we'll sprinkle in some Attack on Titan here and there. Um, I don't plan on, this is a, the omnibus of 4, 5, and 6. I'm not expecting to read all 34 whatever volumes or is of that this year. Um, I mean, if I do, I do. But it's not on my radar to do as of right now. Um, second thing. Oh, and then when I'm done with Plato, I'll, I'll probably jump into, I'll, I'll figure out somebody else. I'm really enjoying uh, reading these old people. 
these old dead people, Plato, um, Epictetus, which is like reading stereo instructions like Shobo Genzo. But I feel like it's a book that I should, I need to read, not a book I'm necessarily enjoying. You know, there's all sorts of, you know, Livy and um, whatever. There's There's no end of those people out there. Maybe I'll finally get around to Homer. Who knows? Maybe I'll, this is the year maybe that I can get through uh, Iliad and Odyssey and um, Virgil with the Ennead, Ennead, whatever. Anyway, so deeper, not wider. Um, where I'm going to contradict myself is I saw on this year on Brandon's bookshelf, he did a challenge where he read or will be reading I, I think he finished it, or he is on pace to finish it. Read a book out of uh, one book from every um, century in the Common Era. So everything from 0 to 2023, 20, a book from each century. I thought that was a really cool uh, challenge. And I, I think I want to do that this year. I want to try. Now that's twenty three. No, twenty three. Yeah, we're we're in the we're in the twenty two hundreds. Um, that's twenty one books right there. Um, so that's a good chunk of of possibly my read. I I, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to read in twenty twenty three. Um, hopefully in a perfect world, school's super duper easy. And I just blast through it and have all this time to read. And um, But I got calculus next term. And that is terrifying. And I don't know. You know, I really want to focus on... When I, when I have classes that pertain to my major, I really want to focus on that. Try to get the most out of them as well. So we'll see. We'll see uh, how well I am able to manage my time and stay on track. Um, but I got a bunch of books over here. I'll go through those here in a minute. Um, but there's one last thing um, I wanted, wanted to bring up. And that is, um, I, I put out a poll last week, two weeks ago, whatever it was, with a bunch, with a few different authors. If I, if I was to do a deep dive of one specific author, who do you want to see? And I had uh, Thomas Pynchon. <coughs> um... Herman Hess, um, <laughs> I don't remember the other one, and uh, Michael Crichton, and Michael Crichton won. So, and I'm not, he wrote 30, we'll just say 32-ish novels between uh, his his name, you know, fiction, nonfiction, um, and under a pen, pen, pen? pen name what's that term pen pen name and so uh you guys asked and i shall um i shall give it so um i'm going to read deeper not wider i'm going to uh focus heavily on uh, Michael Crichton, which is great. I love Michael Crichton. Um, I want to focus. I want to try to go in order of his books. I'm depending on how well I'm doing. I may skip the ones I already read. Um, or, uh, and then maybe get back to them at a later date. Um, my furnace is kicking on. I'm sorry. It's going to sound like a jet engine. Super windy drafty house it's just bound to have happened um we'll, we'll see how i do it maybe i'll, I'll just go in and or even the ones I, I have read i don't know um i have i don't have many of his books anymore i unhauled a bunch of them but be, i did that because they're so easy i come by them all the time um the ones there's under his um pen name John Lang, I think I have to buy those. I don't think there's Kindle versions. Um, I I think I have to actually purchase those. I have a couple on the way already off of eBay. 
However, the stuff under his 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 real name, um, the stuff that I have in physical form, I'll just read in physical form. Um, but the stuff I don't have, I'll probably just go Kindle and or Audible. I don't typically like to. Um, the books I talk about on this channel, it's books I read with my eyes, not my ears. And um, I like Audible. Um, I'm a fan of Audible. I don't want to start that debate on my channel. There's plenty of other channels out there that like debating um, Audible versus non-Audible or you know, um, audiobooks versus non audiobooks. Um, but just through the amount of stuff that he has, and in fact, I already have a bunch of them on audio, um, I might go that route on some of them as well, just to try to get through his, um, his bibliography that much quicker and also i'm not saying this is going to be a done and over with by the end of 2023 thing at all this may go on into 2024 and maybe even i i don't know how fast i'm gonna be able to get through them you know in a perfect world i mean i could do everything i just mentioned in in a year very easily um you know before school started I was reading between 100 and 150 books a year, um, not bragging, it's just what it was. And that's, that, that, um, I slowed down quite a bit this year. So I don't, I don't know what my, what my, like I said, I don't do good, uh, Goodreads anymore. Did I say I got rid of Goodreads? I don't remember. I don't have Goodreads. Got rid of it. Um, if I said it there. If I repeat myself, I'm sorry. So, excuse me, I got the hiccups now. Um, so I don't have any like statistics on how many I actually did read, but I, I know it's nowhere near as much as as it was. So, so that's what my 2023 reading goals look like. As far as channel goals, I don't have any. I mean, I think personally, me personally, I'm not saying it, you're silly for doing it. I think it's kind of silly, but you know, I'm, I'm a nobody. Like I don't, I, 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 I think subscription goals are silly just because you don't really have any control over it. All you can do is make videos, you know, <clears throat> be, uh, as sociable as you're able to and everything else just has to fall into place. Right. So, uh, should I go through some of these, um, some of these books I have, uh, for the read a book for every century challenge? I have a piece of paper that I wrote down some rough ideas on, but these are the ones I actually have in hand. Um, and then <clears throat> we'll, we'll see if you have any suggestions, I am all ears. Some of these centuries are kind of difficult to, to figure out kind of what what I should read so I'm, I'm always open for suggestions uh, for the uh, first century I have Seneca's letters of a stoic this is a beautiful cloth bound penguin classic that is impossible to read because it only opens like that far the text is absolutely tiny and um so i do have the i do have the kindle version of this and that is what i'll actually be reading um that's set in stone that is that is a i was gonna read that anyway but that actually works and just like letters of from a stoic i have uh, meditations by marcus aurelius the little penguin cloth bound um again um impossible to read so I will probably get the Kindle version. Um, for the third century, got the Jakatas, um, Birth Stories of the Bodhisattva. Um, Indian philosophy, religion. Um, I forget if this is Buddhist or Hindu Buddhist. So, um, yeah. 
I love me some I love me some Buddhism. Um four is confessions by uh Saint Augustine. Again, I mean a lot of these early ones are gonna be philosophy because I mean what else can you really um what else really is there that survived? Uh so yes, uh uh, St. Augustine. And then for the 5th century, I have St. Augustine, City of God. This was written like in the end-ish part of the 4th century. So I'm kind of cheating there, doubling up on the authors. Um, however, I don't know where my City of God is. I know I have it, <laughs> but I have no idea where it is. I looked for it, couldn't find it. I may have unhauled it. I don't think I've unhauled it, but you never know. It may have ended up in the wrong, in the wrong pile. And then for the sixth century, I got both the uses, the consolation of philosophy. Um, a lot of these I don't really know much about. It's just I, I literally, uh, well, actually went on Goodreads, um, and uh, just kind of searched uh books for the uh certain centuries so um gothic emperor theodic Boethius. so yeah got that um for the <coughs> eighth century i got bd the existential history of the english people i don't have that um that one i mean if i find a cheap Penguin Classic or something, I'll pick it up. If not, um, I'm sure um, Kindle. Um, nine, for the ninth century, this was written right on the, um, at, on the 1800, or 18, 800. The, the year on it is 800. So it's like right on it. But this is like the only thought, thing I really saw that was even remotely interesting to me. And that is the Arabian Nights. Um, I don't think I'll read this copy because it is um, it's it's not very it's not very reader friendly. So I'll probably just get the ebook version, a ebook version. <coughs> um, for the tenth century, got Beowulf. This is uh. A new translation that has the that has the mirrored pages. I always like the books with the mirrored pages. I think that's kind of cool. Never read Beowulf. Um, there was a Michael. There's, there is a Michael Crichton, Year of the Dead. I think it's called. That I believe is based off of Beowulf. Thirteenth Warrior was that? Is that the that ring a bell? Um, for the eleventh century. Got the pillow book of say Shang Um so this it says that uh was a contemporary in the erstwhile rival of Lady Murasaki, which is um Tales of Genji. Uh Tales the Tales of Genji. Um but wasn't you know, this is 1100. I thought Tale of Genji was like way earlier. Anyway, um, this is kind of interesting. See, I thought a pillow book was it Shogun or was it Musashi that was talking about the pillow book? Where basically a pillow book is basically um, a book that newlyweds would get that kind of showed them the arts of making love and and so on and so forth. So I don't know what uh this one exactly is but um maybe we'll find out and then what do we got here um 12 i got farad atar the conference of the birds don't have that 13 i got some roomy always down to read some roomy this is the essential roomy um so there's all sorts of essential roomies out there so i don't know how more essential this one is over any of the others, but um, I mean, it's blurred by Ram Dass, Jack Cornfield. I mean, some awesome, awesome individuals there. So, 
always down for some more for some more roomy in my life um then we have uh giovanni boccaccio the decameron which i thought i had apparently i don't so i'll have to find that 15th i got the songs of vidya Pati. um some more uh eastern some more indian stuff which i'm always down for 16 i got Wu Chang'an, Monkey, The Journey to the West. Don't have it. Um, I'll be looking for a copy of that. 17, I got Cervante, Don Quixote. Oh, never read Don Quixote. And this is my opportunity to. This is another one. Although this is a nice Oxford brand new world classic. I bought this like two years ago. I've never read it. Um, I might go ebook just because this thing would be a pain in the butt to hold up in bed. So, um, 18. Got some yeah, Candide by Voltaire. Um, this is, oh man, this one's. I forgot this was all marked up. I might find another Voltaire. I don't know. I forgot about that. That annoys me. I would have uh I would have unhauled this if I remembered that. But um yeah, it's a satanic masterpiece. So yeah, let's see what that is. Uh 19th century got Melville's Moby Dick. I got this beautiful uh Library of America still in its plastic of Moby Dick ne next year can be the year for some Herman Melville. Um, for the 20th century, I, like I, I want to read a bunch of Michael Crichton, so that's 20th century. Anyway, the 21st century, I am going to throw out a curveball. Um, another uh, challenge 2.0 for me. If I get to the 21st century, I'm going to get something on the. Um, I'm going to get something written in 2023. Or, you know, that's published in 2023. It's not something I ever, ever do. The newest book I have is Tom Segura's book. I still haven't read it. That is the only book from 2021 I believe that I own. Oh. <laughs> Most, it's probably the... Okay, Ram, uh, Ram Dass' biography. I think that was 20... That might have been 2022. I don't remember if it was 2022 or 2021. Might have been 2021. Other than that, the the newest thing I might own is maybe 20 years. I don't know. I have I, I I just don't I like books that have been around for a minute. That way I know, hey, well if this if this has lived the test of time for 20 years in a world where literally um People probably, you know, people that even follow the Booker and stuff probably can't even remember the list of last year. Um, if, if the books, if a book has, you know, even lived 10, 15, 20 years, that's saying something. It really is. So I don't, I don't really buy um, stuff as soon as they come out, but I'm sure there's something this year or next year 2023 i'm sure i'll find some. i'll have like all year i'll have like until like middle of december to uh try to you know anytime i go to the bookstore just kind of glance and see what's on the the newly released shelf <clears throat> surely don't call me surely but surely there's something something that will call my name so that's it for this one, peeps. Let me know down below if you are a booktuber and <clears throat> you did this video. Let me know so I can go watch it um, or if you're going to do it. If you're if you're not a booktuber and you're just a, a lurker, commenter, whatever you want to be called, um, let me know if you have any reading goals. If you're, if you're in the YTPC and uh, you're a reader... Let me know your reading goals. That's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.